Okay. Hello, hello everyone. How are you doing? You are welcome to another edition of Weducation Wednesday with Dami Ariola. I thank you all for coming. Hi, how are you doing? So our guest today will be joining shortly, but I wanted to give a quick intro for those who will be watching this later on what we're going to be talking about today. So today I'm going to be having Eliana George, who is the owner, co-owner of Marquee Letters Toronto. She and her husband both own and manage Marquee Letters Toronto, and I can't wait for her to join us today. So thank you to um, those of you who are here already. We're going to be having her join soon. And today we're really just going to be highlighting how you can, you know, transform and elevate your intimate uh, weddings or intimate celebration spaces using decor, using props as a decor. It doesn't matter if you're having, um, you know, a private ceremony or even if it's like a birthday party. We're going to be talking about different things. So I have Eliana here without wasting any more time. I'm just going to have her join me and we will get right into it. Okay. All right. So all you have to do is accept and you'll be live with me. Okay. Yeah. Yay. There Hi. he is. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hi, Eliana. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. Thanks for having me on You're today. You're looking beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I love the blue hair. Yeah. Well, I guess we're matching because I have a blue stripe. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? I just want you to introduce yourself. Tell, people, tell everyone who you are. I've done a quick introduction before you came on, but please tell us who you are. What is Marquis Letters Toronto? Okay, so my name is Anna, and I am the creative director here at Marquee Letters Toronto, and we specialize in giant light-up letters, letter tables, uh, custom theme props for birthday parties and corporate events. Awesome. Now, yeah. people may not know this, because when you hear Marquee Letters, you're thinking, oh, it's just letters. But really, yeah. she's, just, she's being modest. They do much more than just the light-up letters, yeah. much more than the LED signs. They do a lot. Yeah. Um, so can you hear me yeah. well? It seems like it's freezing on my end. Are you good? Yeah, I can hear you well, yes. Very good. Okay, so we're going to get right into it. Because um, And hi, everyone who's joining. Thank you for joining us today. It's going to be a very nice one. So Eliana right now, you said Anna, but I call you Eliana. So yes. <laughs> for this live, you want me to call you Anna? Either way. Like, I go okay. by Anna for sure. My full name is Eliana. Okay. Yes. So... Eliana is going to be showing us. Now, today we're going to start off by explaining what exactly is today's chat about. As you know, I do Education Wednesdays to highlight different things that have to do with weddings, preparing for your weddings. We're still living in the pandemic. For those who are watching this later, at the time of filming this, we're still, COVID is still very much here. And things are still not back to normal. So people are hosting private events, or we're hoping once the lockdown is lifted, we can start hosting our events but it will start slowly now today we're going to be giving you some tips as to how to elevate your space because even if you're having a zoom wedding or a private wedding or party for 10 people people are live streaming in you still want people to see how beautiful and gorgeous your celebration is so eliana right now is in her warehouse and she has prepared two different views ceremony set up views for you so take it away and explain okay so um, i'm going to show you two different uh simple looks that are trending right now so right now people are doing more uh, micro weddings intimate settings in their homes or in their backyard so we have props to cater to that uh, type of situation so the first look that i'm going to show you are um, our panel backdrop look and it's fully customizable so anything that you see that we have right now you can customize color you can customize with a decal to personalize it you can customize with a neon sign um, to say basically almost anything we offer lots of customization so that's the beauty of, about our services is that it can be specific to your um, look and, and need right so I'm gonna just Oh, I actually don't even know how to. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. You got it. Okay. So, this look here 
is our panel backdrops. Can you see clearly? Yes. Let me see if I turn. Is this better? No, if I turn no it's better the other way. Yes. Okay. Right. So these panel uh, backdrops are trending right now. So it's easy to attach uh, florals to it. Um, you can choose as many panels as you would like, and you can customize the color and have a decal. Um, so like, if, let's say Mr. and Mrs., you know, whatever your name mm -hmm. uh, may be, can be uh, put on these backdrops. I mean, you can have it with uh, plinth, for example, where you can put your cake on. I just use that as a quick little yeah. example to show you. And, um, you know, some, some people use this with balloons on it um, as well, or you can put a neon sign, All right? So these panel backdrops are really trendy. They're, okay. very, they're very easy to set up. And um, you can, you know, if you have it stay inside your home, after you're done, you can take them out into your backyard and take more pictures. They're very versatile. versatile. Beautiful. Right, so there's one. Book. And the pamphlets and dried grass thing is still is still trending right now. So that look, sure. the boho look. Yes, and of course you can get pompous in any color, right? Yeah. So that's one of the looks, and then another look here is um, our geometric uh, circle backdrop. You can have this customized to say anything in the middle as well. Um, we just had a birthday party, so that's why it says that on it. But you can have it with uh, the bride and groom's name on it. Um, you know, ba basically anything, your wedding date. Um, like I said, this backdrop can also be set up in your home and it's easy enough to um, transport into your backyard if you wanted to take more pictures uh, like the other backdrops as well. Yeah. And I know that you, we've done a proposal with that. I mean, you can do pretty much anything. Yes, yes. Yes, that proposal, yeah, it was really nice. So yeah. Um, I actually I, have some pictures that I will be sharing as well. Yeah. So I think this is a good time to show that. Yes. Um, so this is the one I'm talking about. So yeah. you see it? Good. So this was um, that same geometric backdrop. And then really, like you said, you, you can say whatever it is. That yeah. you okay. So we're going to jump in because I have a few questions here. I just want to encourage anyone who um, maybe you, this is the first time you're joining our lives or, or joining a live. You can ask questions using the Q&A button. So there's a Q&A box right at the bottom. Just you can put your questions in there. But I'll go ahead and ask uh, Eliana some questions right now. Um, sure. So now I love the fact that you've shown us two examples. Again, the reason we're doing this is just to get people thinking. Don't The fact that you're having intimate parties doesn't mean that it cannot be beautiful. So exactly. you can use props. Now, yeah. Ileana didn't say this, but aside from even ceremonies, they do. there's so many other props that they have. Like I've seen her do circus themed um, parties. So it's not just yeah. even birthdays. Now, this is an example of um, a 50th birthday that we did. And those are the marquee letters, the light up LED letters that we had, um, you know? Yeah. So there's so many, 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 many things yeah. that you can do with props okay you I'll show you more. go ahead i said you did a really good job on the decor there it looks really oh. beautiful <laughs> well that was mmm decors and celebration events so that was great great collaboration okay yeah. so i'm gonna ask you how long does it typically take to set up um a simple ceremony decor like that so for the backdrops that i just showed you here for example once your space is cleared it would take us Literally, I would say 10 to 15 minutes to set it up, you know, once because we want to be in and out as quick as possible. Um, you know, once the restrictions are lifted, we're still hoping to take uh, precaution because COVID, not because we're open up, COVID has disappeared, right? So sure. we possible. Um, so literally 10 to 15 minutes once your area is, is right for us. I guess because you've already, you would have customized, done all the customization, everything in your warehouse. So yeah. it's easy for you to just bring it, plug and play and get everything set up. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to be sharing um, some examples because people don't realize. Now, I know that I was talking to someone recently. Um, her son is graduating this year, 2021. Yeah. And she's already concerned because she was planning this whole lavish big party for him. But really, there's so much that you can do using decor just to elevate and give them that experience that, listen, 
We know you're graduating. We're here for you. And, you know, you can use numbers. You can use uh, 2021. You can use letters that says graduate, uh, whatever. And you caught up for a second. What did you say? I said you can use grad 2021. Yes. Or even the backdrop here can, can have congratulations, uh, um, you know, whatever the person's name is, you know, uh, 2021 graduate. It, there's so many options. So many things you can do. Okay, so now I'm going to switch gears the conversation a bit because there's something that Marquis Letters Toronto really ran with in the year 2020 that I personally, I was so proud of you. I was so happy. And it's so beautiful. And I know personally that the ones that we did, the celebrants were very happy. And that is the outdoor, the outdoor decors, the outdoor signage. Just the outdoor celebration where people can see, even the neighbors, anybody driving by knows that there is a 50-year-old in this house or somebody's birthday is today or someone just had a baby or whatever. So I'm going to be showing you examples of what I'm talking about. So this is a porch, right? 30th birthday. Very easy to, you know. This, in, of course, involves like balloons and all that stuff. Of course. I love this one. It's not clear, but it was a Spider-Man themed one that you did. I don't know who the client is. This is not our event, but yeah, it was, look at that. Shop the sweetest thing confectionery. It was her son's birthday. Yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. I love this one too. Like very simple. You can tell it's winter. It doesn't yeah. matter now. It's not clear because we're sharing our screen, but with balloons and flowers and marquee letters and I mean, there's so much you can do to still yeah. make your special one, your loved one, your child, whatever, feel special on their day. So outdoor, outdoor is really, it's a, it, I mean, it's big now, like making sure you- safe way to celebrate. It's safe, yeah. yes. So you can still, I, I guess what I'm trying, what we're trying to get to is that irrespective, you can still make your intimate celebrations grand. Yes, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we talked, we've shown some front lawn and some porch ideas, the garden ones. Can you um, share a little bit about just how do you, you collaborate with other vendors, right? To just create yes. the space. Yes, we do. So uh, we collaborate with uh, event planners, uh, decorators, balloon artists to come up with these looks. Um, primarily uh, decorators. So they come up with a concept uh, uh, from the customer. So someone like yourself, right? Um, we would work together on creating... <laughs> we'd work, <laughs> we'd work uh, create a specific uh, theme for the customer. I would send you a final mock-up and then once your client approves it, um, execute it and deliver and set up. Awesome. Also, I just wanted to show the beauty that can be props. So there is something else you can't show us right now because, you know, they're reorganizing their warehouse. But um, there was a circus themed party that you uh, put together as well. So yeah. they have multitudes of options, really, for your intimate parties. So, I mean, I have a four year old going on five and I've already started thinking, what am I going to do for her birthday? <laughs> right. So those are little things you can do. Like, what is your what? Again, I know I specialize more in weddings, but I just wanted to share that there's really no, whatever you can think about, it can be yes. done. Yes, definitely. And um, this year, we, we are incorporating a lot more um, products. So every few months, we, we have new items. So if you have a new, or a new concept, we specialize in uh, bringing those new concepts and look the light. Right. Okay. So uh, I want to talk about intimate proposals a little bit. Yes. Uh, we've, we've been seeing that trending. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, I think you did one just Valentine weekend as well. So intimate proposals. Uh, people are, before, you know, you would have this lavish proposal with a lot of people. So can you just share, just give some, ex some advice to people who are looking to propose on how they can do that using prompts? So, um, first of all, the location is key. Toronto has some hidden gem locations that are just like to die for. 
But more importantly, when you're choosing these locations, we need to know because some of them take a long, a long time to get to, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, in terms of props, um, we are we specialize with the marry um, letters or will you marry me letters. Um, so we go, we set it up outside. We can include a red carpet. We can include rose petals. Collaborate with other de decorators that provide candles and all that type of stuff. And um, yeah, we give you that look. So you yeah. see this here. This this is uh, this was quite a journey to get to. I forgot the name of the look. <laughs> it's beautiful. I was gonna ask where is this because I can see the skyline. I can see the CN Tower in the background. Yes, it was very beautiful. I can't. I don't recall the name of the location off my head, but when I do remember it, I'll post it. Yeah, this is beautiful. And of course, this is still one of my favorites that we did. Um, to, I mean, collaboration with you, MMM Decors, and I mean, it was just amazing. So really, uh, for the proposals, I guess what I'm trying to get at here, okay, I need to get out of this thing. <laughs> what I'm trying to get at here is that with the use of marquee letters, with the use of flowers, roses, so much, you know, you can still achieve that look that you want to achieve, okay? And they know if you walk into a room with the giant letter saying, will you marry me? <laughs> yeah. So, and you know, it's, it's funny. People have been coming up with a lot of, um, I want to say beautiful ideas. I've been seeing a lot of ideas for proposals. So that's beautiful. So we're going to circle back to weddings now. Um, again, if you have questions, uh, I can see some vendor friends here. Hi, everyone. Um, if you have questions, please leave it in the Q&A box. Today really is more, I just wanted um, Eliana to share because she does amazing, amazing work. Eliana, do you want to just show again those two setups for those who are just joining? Because we have more people that just joined the live. Yeah, so I was showing uh, our panel looks and I was just uh, letting everyone know these are fully customizable, right? You can have them... Um, vinyl with your name or a thing you can have different colors you can put a neon sign and of course florals um always add a nice touch to it and then we have our geometric circle these are just some of the items we we carry yeah. for weddings if you visit our website um you'll find a lot more um okay. choices to choose from right and of course we have our you know our typical marquee letters um that's also good um yes that's wedding. a good one the l-o-v-e the l-o-v-e can actually be at the ceremony that can be your ceremony backdrop that yes. can also be for proposals i mean there's so much that you can do with that yeah. and again don't be afraid to use your initials too like if you're having a private yes. intimate ceremony you can have yes. use your initials, you know. Um, you can use your last name. I mean, there's so much you can do to just personalize. Mr. and Mrs. is another popular one. Yeah, Mr. and Mrs. So, you know, people, and again, um, somebody's, I, I mean, asking how much does this cost? I think the best thing, uh, what's your website again? So it's www.markeylettersToronto.com and all our prices are listed on our website. So if you click... Marquee letters, you'll scroll, you'll scroll through, you'll see like the marry me prices there, Mr. Mrs. prices there. All our prices are listed on our website. Yes. So please feel free to visit Marquee Letters Toronto. Make sure there's a Toronto there because, you know, there's Marquee Letters India, Marquee Letters China. <laughs> so Marquee Letters Toronto, <laughs> okay, dot com. And then you get the right, um, like she said, and you and another thing I want to say is I really love and appreciate Eliana for one thing. Their delivery, their staff are always on time, always on Thank point. You. you know, your Thank service you. is outstanding. I remember when I met you and you told me, because I already knew Marquis Letters Toronto and I didn't know the face. I didn't know who owned it. And when I found out and we met and then I realized, oh my God, don't tell me you are. I was like, no, <laughs> I'm sorry to say this, but I, I was like, I thought it was owned by a white person. <laughs> I think that's what I said to you. Because <laughs> the quality and the service, like, I mean, not to say that, you know, don't, don't get me wrong. Black mm -hmm. people, we, of course, we give excellent service too. But I just honestly did not think that it was owned by a, a, a black sister like, like me. So uh, they do awesome work. It doesn't matter really 
who you are. Just go, and they have the same process for everybody. So go up through the website and all that. Anyways, so she's so humble. She doesn't really, you know, say much. But I just want to share with everyone to encourage you all who are, yes, I agree, Grace. They're always on point. Uh, I just want to share with everyone who's battling with this idea of the fact that, again, we're right now at the time of recording this live, we're still living in this pandemic. We're actually sitting on a lockdown here in the greater Toronto area. And um, we're just waiting for the premier's announcement. We don't know what the next step is going to be. But we anticipate, we're hopeful that things will start lightening up and that, you know, they will start allowing us to gather and have okay. ceremonies. So most likely it wouldn't just be open and then you can have 300 people parties like we're used to. It might yeah. be slow. We don't know what slow is. 25, 50, 100, I don't know. So whatever it is, it will still be intimate. So we're encouraging you today, I mean, as wedding vendors to say, it doesn't matter the size, you can elevate your space. You can make your yeah. space look good. You can make your yeah. space memorable, irrespective, because people are streaming in and you will hopefully hire a pro to record it. You want to go yeah. back and watch your video, watch your wedding, your birthday, your graduate, whatever it is, graduation, and have that feeling of, yes, we did this and it was beautiful. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you know what the part is? I always like advise people to, um, if if it's for a wedding, like try to get a planner like yourself to help you um, streamline your ideas. Yes. We rent the product, but um, we rely on our wedding planners and our decorators to come up with certain vision, and then we we deliver it right. So we love the opportunity to work with vendors like yourself and other decorators in the industry to help uh, bring your vision to life. Right. Well, thank you for encouraging them because not everybody realizes how important uh, hiring the pros are. So to Very. have a beautiful event is not just about renting the props, right? It's also about the concept, the design, the placement, yeah. all of that. It all ties in together, you know? Definitely. So, well, we actually don't have any questions here, but we have a few comments. Um, yeah, Gracie said she loves the fact that you're pricing is listed online yes so there's no ambiguity there's no question about how much does yeah. this cost is all there on their yeah. website just um, for a shopping experience yes okay well thank you all so much now eliana do you have any um advice for couples any encouragement uh for people who are now having to downsize or streamline how any anything that you want to share with them it's a it's a hard time <laughs> It, it 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 is a hard time, but we do offer you know really simple quick um, ceremony setups. If you're interested, um, you know call us and we can talk about the different options we have to offer you. Um, I I can't say like I have a lot of advice for them because like I said, I we really rely on our on our planners um, to guide the bride and grooms. Um, through the journey and um, we're just a final stop where um, we we execute whatever the, it is that they would like right? well sue thank you sue knows businesses i love your stuff marquee letters <laughs> thank you thank you sue knows business i see that okay well thank you all so much i think for the first time in a long time i have kept to my promise of keeping it within 25 minutes so yay <laughs> There's always so much to share. So I'm glad that we're able to do this with, in record time. And I'm pretty sure that you've learned something from this. I'm just going to really quickly show a few more of ideas from Marquis Letters products that we've worked together with or some of their stuff. Ideas, yes. things that you can do. If it's a birthday like this, see how happy it looks. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter. Front lawn, front porch. Was this a backyard event or a front? No, that was a front yard. Front yard. I can imagine yeah. the, the, the smiles and the joy on this kid's face coming out <laughs> and seeing this, you know? We did a, so a soccer-themed um, drive-by birthday. I don't have the picture here. But, I mean, the boy came out and he was like, oh, my God. Like, he was so happy. happy he was oh hugging my. his mom and kissing his mom. So there are ways that, irrespective of the lockdown, honestly, this kid's, 
um, especially for the milestone birthdays, like the sweet 16, sweet 18, um, you know, 10 year birthday, one year old, your family, if they're driving by, you can still elevate um, your space yes. and just make it special for them. You know, you know, one thing now that I saw the proposal, um, one thing that's important for couples to know is um, when you're planning to propose it's in, in some parks you do require a permit so yeah. it is important to look into getting a permit um, prior to having us come to set up um, if you're having a photographer for sure we'll need a permit um, for the duration of time that we're going to be there that's important because if not, then guess what? That affects the plans. That's why you need a professional because a planner would have known that. Well, thank you so much, Juliana. I hope you guys learned You're something. Welcome. I hope that this was insightful. For those who will be watching this later, please, like I always say, I get questions even after the live. So send your questions. You now know how to reach Juliana. There's so many wedding pros here in the GTA that are amazing at what they do. We're all here. We're all waiting. We're all excited to help you to create the wedding, the birthday, the, the whatever celebration of your dreams. Like I said, graduation's coming in June. Hopefully by then we can all gather, but irrespective, there are things you can do to make your celebrants feel loved and feel special. And one of the fastest ways to do that is by elevating that space, doing something personalized for them, using props, using decor so that they feel truly loved and special because they deserve yes. it. <laughs> thank you all so much thank you sweetheart for your time thank you. bye thank everyone you. see you I'm next week i am adiola dami celebration events gta based wedding and events planner i'll see you again next week wednesday for another edition of Education wednesday bye eliana bye. Toronto. love you honey bye <laughs>